What's going on everyone? It's Rich Lux and in today's video, girl, you won't believe the truth. Okay, so today's video, I have a Disney haul for you. I'm gonna be showing you all the things that I got at Disney and, uh, well, wait, I got Disney. That in the Disney store. So, uh, yeah, so let's talk about it. So here's the first bag. Oh my God, it's freaking huge. Wait, show it this way and I'm gonna show it this way. There's two Disneys in the world. No, there's not. There's like two Disney in America. There's one in California and there's one in Orlando. So I've been to both. To me, I personally love the Disney and Orlando, Florida, the best. I don't want to get any hate. Got my receipts right here of how much I spent. This came out to $471. Whew. Whew. Okay, the Disneyland, or Disney World, whatever. The Disney and Orlando to me is better. It's just, it gives you more of that magical kingdom feeling. I believe it's bigger. Just the overall vibe is it. I'm not gonna say that the Disney in California is fake, because that one's good too. But I feel like the one in Orlando is like, the one that if you wanna check out Disney, that should be the one you should go to. But everyone's different. That's just my opinion, my conspiracy allegedly. Most of this stuff was purchased at the Disney store. Okay, so here it is. So I got this one right here and it is Donald Duck. I think this is the 85th anniversary of it. I'm not sure, but it's a special edition one. And so, and I, I'm gonna tell you the truth. I really, I was never really into Disney stuff. I'm gonna put this down here. And um, Nick got me into Disney because he, since he lived in Orlando, he's like obsessed with Dickie, with Dickie. He's obsessed with Mickey. And he's always like, has all Mickey stuff. So I was just like, it kind of just like rubbed off on me. So now I just kind of like, I kind of like Mickey Mouse too now. Okay. And it's so cute and it's like fun and it's whimsical. So I got a little teapot here and this one's really cute. Oh my God. And there's so many, there are literally YouTube channels who uh, talk about Disney all the time. They talk about new parks, new rides, their experiences, how to do that, how to do this, all these like tips and tricks and stuff like that. The only thing that I didn't, did not get to do in Disney that I wanted to do was do the, um, it's something train some mind train it was like the seven dwarves one that one everyone seems to want to ride it uh for whatever reason it's always packed it's all it has the longest lines whatever reason so if you're gonna do disney the one in orlando let me just give you just give you some advice if you can if you're saving up for it save a little more and opt in for the vip disney experience the one in orlando because they will like shuttle you to the rides get you on all the rides they give you lunch it's like a it's an experience within itself so there's a way to do disney okay so i'm trying to say not selling you to do it just like if you can that's a really good option okay next thing i got was this little rose right here does it work let's see oh yeah so it lights up <laughs> so it lights up so this is from a Disney Princess collection and it's, I think this is Belle, right? So it's a nightlight, basically is what it is. And it looks so pretty. I remember when I was in high school, this girl, she had her quinceanera and her dress was all yellow like that. She wanted to be like Belle. Was her name Belle too? I'm not sure. Is this girl even named Belle? There she goes. But anyways, yeah, so that's a pretty cool thing. And they also had the cups, but the cups were like super, super, super expensive. If you know what I'm talking about, uh, they have like these cups that have the rose in it. Those seem to be kind of pricey too. All right, next thing I got was this one. I had to buy another one because the other one got really dirty. But I freaking love this. This is, it just came, it's such, this kept, it comes in handy, okay? So when you're cooking anything, you're baking anything, it's dirty that, just to get it out and it's super cool. And yeah, so I'm just gonna like put this down over here. Next thing I got, ooh, I'll probably wear this shirt. I wanna wear this shirt soon. Um, Look, okay, this is it. It's so beautiful. It's awesome. Uh, it says original Mouseketeer and it has, does it have the price on it? This one This one was $55. So it was, um, Disney stuff is not super affordable always. For some reason, it's just like so expensive, but the quality seems really great and it seems super soft. Does it have a tag on here? Yeah, it just says Disney. This is what the tag says like that. Um, and so yeah, the only thing I don't like about Disney is that if you're at Disneyland or Disney World, I think there's an option for them to like ship you stuff, stuff that you buy because you don't wanna like lug it in the airport or something like that. So that's the option. Or they can ship it to your ho hotel resort if you stay there. All right, the other thing that I picked up, it's just it's kind of huge, I don't wanna break it. Um, it's a really unique piece and it's a little stand and it looks so beautiful. I mean, this is like such a moment and then it has like these little mousketeer ears on there. So that's really nice on there too. And it's like, it's glass. I can literally break it if I dropped it. So this was the first bag, it's empty. Let me get the other bag. This one's so cute. And it has, you can see, it has a little outfit on. This is so super cute. This one was 
$44.95. Okay, it's super heavy too. Whoa, that was a workout. So the next bag I got, ah, this was super heavy too. All right, you see this? There you go. Yeah. Like I said, this is from the Disney store, okay? Where do we start? Um, I start with this one. So I got a little Mickey doll and there she goes. And this one cost, how was this one? This one was $19. And it looks pretty cute. It is what it is. It's not what it's not. And it's super cute, the house. All right, that's that one. Second thing I picked up. Oh my gosh, okay. So I picked this up because I feel like it will be worth money one day. It's the Star Wars, the Saga coin set, assembles, blah, blah, blah. So that's what it looks like right here. So then you have Darth Vader, and you got, oh, those guys, what are those, the Stormtroopers? And then you got, I think that is, is that Jabba the Hutt? I think it is, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, that's what he said. I got it right. Hell yeah. And in the back, we have the little, like, the little coins. And they come in this, like, protective sleeve. And this one was $70. So it's like a collector's thing. I think that's really neat. Second thing I got was the salt and shaker thing up here. Um, it's Disney Eats collection. And so it's just really huge. That's like, going to be a lot of salt and a lot of pepper or whatever you put in there. Um, this set, for you guys who want to know, is $24.99. And I just like it because it had that gold aesthetic to it. And then you can see what's inside. Cause some, some salt and pepper shakers, they get so like intricate that you don't know which is which. You know what I'm talking about? Cause it doesn't show you. I like that it shows you and I like the gold makings up there. This one's kind of huge. I can't believe I got this one y'all also. So, ah, so here it is. Ice cream, it is a Disney ice cream. And in the back it says 2SW331, I believe. You can see that right there. And it kind of opens up here. I can try to open it. There it goes. Okay, boom. And there, that's what it looks like on the inside. So I think it's like a cookie jar holder or you can put like cereal in here or whatever you want to put in there, but it's really cute. I don't think I would put ice cream in here because it'll melt the house, but I guess you, I don't know what you could put in here, girl. I think you can put, if you want to fill it up with ice cream, but then you have to like take it out like a party or something. But I just like the, the black and white Mickey. My favorite Mickey out of all of them is the a Steamboat, Steamboat Willie or Steamboat Mickey. That's my favorite one. All right. And I think I got a few more things left. I love this one so much. Okay. These are, this is a set. So you got the knives, you got the spoons and the forks. This came out to $70, really pricey, really, really heavy. And at the bottom here, if I can, again, part of the Disney Eats collection, um, here at the bottom, you can see that at the end of the spoon and the forks and the knives, they have the Mickey Mouse like shaped head. And so that's the really, really super unique. And I think that's super cool. It's like that added flair, you know? Next I wanna talk about is this. Okay, these are the flares, the Disney flares. This one, so cute. So I'm gonna put this here. All right, so this one was $17 and I like how it shines like that. It's really, really super nice and beautiful. And then you have this right here. You can see that, like a little bow. I guess that's mini. Is it mini? Yeah, it should be mini and it's really nice. And I just think this, this sparkles a lot more in person than it does on camera. So that's really cool. And it, it is a keychain. It's part of like the Disney flare thing. And then the other thing I have is um, the bad charm of Winnie the Pooh. And I love Winnie the Pooh. I'm not like a big, big, big fan. I think it's, you know, it's okay. I think I used to read some of their books and Eeyore always made me sad, always. And that's why, that's why I'm not like a big fan because Eeyore just kind of like, just always made me sad feel bad for him. So that's that one. And this one is $13. Um, let me see anything else in here. No, so everything's empty, the house. Oh, one more thing. <sighs> You're gonna be shook. You're gonna be shook by this one. It glows in the dark. Okay, it is a haunted mansion. I think recently, this was $111. This was uh, part, I don't know if this was part of the anniversary collection, but it glows in the dark. Let me see if I can open it. Oh my gosh. I think I saved the best for last. Um, I'll put this down right here. Okay. Oh, and it's taped up. Ooh. I wonder what could it be? Let me see, do I have anything to open it? I get like a end of a brush. I can try to open it, yeah. Okay, so here I go. Okay, I know you guys are excited and you guys wanna know what I got. I'm, I wanna see what it looks like too, actually. I don't know what I'm doing right now, so bear with me. But I'm able to get through it. The ride that this is themed after, which is the Haunted Mansion ride, it's a pretty decent ride. Not gonna lie. Okay. Finally, I got it open. <sighs> okay. Here she is. Where? How do I open it? Okay, from the bottom. Okay. Oh my gosh. This is it. 
Oh wait, how do I work it? Okay, so that swings back and forth. Does it even work? Is it a working clock? I don't know. I'll figure that out later. Maybe it does, I don't know, I'm not sure. I don't see anywhere I could wind it up or anything. But here it is. So if you're a big Haunted Manson fan, this is what it looks like. It is the, the grandfather clock. It seems like this opens or something. Or is it this one? <gasps> this does open. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, this opens. And then this came, this came out. That thing right there came out. And then you could, if I pull this, it'll start working and stuff. Oh, wait. Oh, wait a minute. Oh my God, it is, yeah, it's moving back and forth up there. Okay, cool, all right. So that's what I got. I think it's really neat. Uh, the Haunted Mansion stuff is really interesting to me. My favorite Disney character is one that I feel like gets no love. Um, what's the name of that guy? Oh, Scrooge McDuck. I freaking love Scrooge McDuck. I feel like he's a character that's like misjudged or misunderstood. But like the character, I think, I just, I love him. And I don't ever like see him that much at Disney, but I do see like little things here and there. But I feel like he's one of those Disney characters that doesn't get that much love. So maybe that's why I like him a lot. But yeah, so let me know what you think about my Disney haul. And um, like I said, most of the stuff you can find at the Disney store. And yeah, let me know what you think about all that drama. Jay, and I'll honey, see you guys in the next Jay, video. Bye. I love you.